Well, folks, I made it down to Houston. Uh, this is James, uh, the uh, unofficial mayor of cowboy country. And this is the University of Houston's football stadium. Hi. Nice to see you. I can't tell, but I'm like 99% certain that that is not glass. That looks like plexiglass. But to be honest, I'm looking at it. And the more I look at it, the more I'm like, that's really cool. Um, it's definitely different. If you look down here below, I think right over there, it looks like probably where the athletes eat. But um, underneath, there is definitely um, structure there. You can see. But I have to admit, I'm uh, I'm quite impressed. It's, it's definitely something different. It's not the brick and mortar that you see at OU or OSU or Texas or um, by the way I'm also on the way back home I'm going to go through College Station and do a video of Texas A&M so I mean I had to have some material uh, to post until but let's go to the other side um I'm going to leave my car here. I'm going to try to to see what it looks like from the end zone and then the other side. And then we'll come back to the car and wrap it up. Now I'm at the one end zone. And of course you got this really cool looking statue of a cougar. But the thing that I've noticed is that here it's got uh, entrance to the locker rooms. And over here looks like student housing. So I bet money... That's probably where the athletes live. And then, of course, uh, they come in here. This is really cool looking. Um, and it's pretty open. I'm going to... Oh, this is really... Oh, that's a... thought it was a wasp at first. But that's a cool looking... That's a... An actual cougar. The, the, oops, there's a cup I just kicked. I'm going to take you up here as close to the gate as I can get so you can look inside. But this is um this is a pretty cool facility. I mean, it's not it's it's not as fancy as Oklahoma State. And by the way, th that's not plexiglass. That's like there's like you can see the holes in the metal. So it's got like this metal outside. It's, it's a good good looking facility um, and you can see the indoor practice field Robert Allen told me about to look for that that's over there that's right there so but it's I've been told that this place here I can actually stick the camera through I've been told that this place can hold like 40, 45,000 and that they can actually um, make it bigger. So what I want to do is let me see what's what this building here is and I'll try to get a shot around the corner. I don't think I've ever seen this before, but the idea of them having a, this is where I came from. I'm making my way that way. They have a, a building attached to the stadium that's for the marching band. That is really a good idea. And then, here on the corner, which obviously their colors are red and white, The that looks really good. Look at the Look at the red, how it shows up. I'm trying to walk flat-footed so I don't shake the camera, but wow. 
that's really cool. I mean, that's definitely different. Um, and uh, I do believe they have parking on the other side. That's parking garage. Oh, huh. all right. So let let me take a break here. And I'll get on the the other side. And uh, we'll go from there. Oh, okay. Look at this. They actually have uh, conference championships. You know, I didn't realize that uh, Art Browse was here. Huh? Tom Herman. Yeah, I knew. I knew Texas hired Tom Herman away from. Uh... Okay. All right. Let's let me stop and I'll reset. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's right. He passed away here recently. Bill Yeoman, I think it's Yeoman. This is the guy that came up with the triple option. They have an actual statue for him. That's really cool. Let me get reset over here. I wanted to get reset is these look like some kind of like a wall of honor. They've got all these different players that have come through here. I remember Andrew Ware, quarterback. Wow, okay. I remember David Klingler, 1990. It's open. You hear me? It's open. All right. Thank you. See? Oh, okay. Folks, I was able to somehow get into the actual stadium itself. I mean, it's physically possible since all the club and suites are in the center. I can't see my hand. Okay, that's all club and suite areas, so you could go up on each side. I don't know if there's club and suite on the other side. Now, just from a... Uh, yeah, during the week I'm a minister, but my undergraduate degree at Oklahoma... Okay, there's no club and suite on this side. I don't think I'd want to put another upper de a fourth level up there. Um, I mean, you could if you absolutely had to. You definitely could add some seats there. But I, I mean, there's potential to add. But overall, um, this is a really good stadium. Let me do one more shot outside and then we'll get back to the car. Since I'm here, Let's get some of these Cougar Eats. All right, they got Papa John's, Albertsons. Ooh, ribs. That's good. Definitely some good football type foods. Got plenty of restrooms. This is the inside of that, that steel mesh stuff that they use. Okay. I'm going to get one more shot on the outside, and then we'll finish up at the car. So this is the other side of the stadium. This looks really cool. You've got some... Those buildings underneath, that's all your uh, bathrooms and uh, uh, really good options as far as food is concerned, I, I, I noticed. Um... Love the fact that they got the will call and the player guest marked easily to find. But I wanted to point out over here, that is their indoor practice facility. And unless you're here in person, you don't realize how massive that thing is. That thing is honestly way bigger than uh, what we have at Oklahoma State. And I think, looking at the stadium, okay, and I like, oh, there's more red there. I think there should be, the, my only critique of this is, yes, they use this metal, and I think it'll last a long time, but more of it should be red. If your colors are red and white, more of that should be red, for sure. And it's definitely, you could easily, like with this, grassy area here and there 
you could expand and put another upper deck on both sides. It might affect some of the parking over the, on, on the opposite side where I parked. But you could definitely put an upper deck on this side. You, uh, I think what University of Houston did is they put some money into the stadium, but they wanted to put a lot of their money into what the players would be dealing with on a regular basis. And that's right here. Your indoor practice facility and um, this looks really good. Um, though I don't like that dent. It's a little bit left of the H. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but you definitely can see it in person. Somebody must have gotten into a fight or something. You can also tell that the red paint is uh, faded a bit. It's almost turning pink. But, um, but that right there, you can tell, just like at Texas, where they had the, um, the entrance to the football operations, you can see, I don't think, I don't think the camera's picking it up, but you got a thing on the wall that says, Houston, welcome to H-Town. I mean, that's the first thing that a recruit is gonna see is this. So, uh, overall, uh, I, I'm very impressed by what I see here. So let me get to the, um, let me, my car's on the other side. Let me get over to my car and I'll make some concluding remarks. Um, but this was definitely worth the trip. It was another gate open, so I wanted to get you one more shot of the inside of the stadium. Overall, I'm impressed. Uh, you clearly could put an upper deck over there, and you could up here as well. And so you got all your club and suites in the middle. Kind of reminds me of Iowa State. But size-wise, this reminds me a lot of Baylor's new stadium. But um, let's get to the car and uh, we'll close it out. I don't know what happened there, but uh, clearly uh, this is a good football stadium. You can put an upper deck on both sides. Uh, I think what they did is they put their money really into the indoor practice facility. Uh, they wanted to put their money on things that the athletes are going to use every day. And I think that was really, really smart on their part. So I'm headed to College Station from here. Um, I'll probably release the... Uh, the Houston video tonight, and then I'll re I'll do uh, the Texas Stadium. I'll release that on Monday. I'll do um, AM on Tuesday. I'll probably release the one for uh, on Baylor Stadium, McLean Stadium. I'll do that for Wednesday because Thursday is a travel day. I'm going up to the football game on September 1st uh, at Boone Pickens Stadium. I hope to see you there. Uh, and uh, as, as always, thank you for watching. I, I appreciate you. Uh, Cowboy Country is not just me. It's everybody that's a subscriber. It's everybody that's, that's a part of um, the OSU family. So I just want you to know I appreciate you and thank you for watching.